Hey guys and girls, Necromon here. Welcome to a very old game called Sid Meier's Pirates. Now, yes, this game is extremely old. It, is, it dates back to the original Xbox era. And I'll let this play out. You guys can read if you want. Something Okay then. I do not really know. I said we know, like, I always played this game. God, those, those Xbox graphics. I'm not sure you're getting a plus to find someone to store the fortune. Doesn't even have freaking shoes. Apparently, supposedly, got a ship now. Seeking packages. Okay, I can't really read that. If you be looking for passage to the Americas, you can sign up here. You, oh, you can sign up here. Uh, you can actually select your whole name, select your chica. Apprentice. The best choice for the new player includes numerous play suggestions and milder opponents. Journeyman. Try Journeyman once. You've gotten your sea legs. Opponents are talking about sword fights are more decisive. You can call it a I'll probably do Journeyman since I actually have played the game a bit. Just make sure it change. Uh, what do we want to call ourselves? For all these were OG freaking. Uh, nice caps. Let's see. What do we want to call ourselves? What do we want to call ourselves? Uh, we'll go. We'll go with a simple, simple name. Right here, there's. We'll call ourselves Donte. Uh, okay, what do we want to skill? Skill of fencing improves your quickness reflexes during sword fighting. Skill of gunnery uh, improves your aim and accuracy during ship battles. Uh, navigation improves your seamanship and helps in sailing against the wind. Skill of medicine improves your health and extends your crew as a pirate. Wit and charm very useful in romancing the lovely local governor's daughter. I'll probably skilled in medicine. And then we got different dates we can start at. We can start at 1600s merchants and smugglers. And I'll read. I'll read every one of them in just one sec though. Sixteen hundred merchants and smugglers. After the uh, 1590s, the Spanish Empire begins a slow slide into decay and chaos, both militarily and economically. Conversely, England and France are growing. Vital nations, their reputed riches, pleasant climate, and emptiness of the Americas all beckon, and all miscellaneous assortment of French and Englishmen start new colonial ventures. It's just like different types. Like 19, uh, almost in 1920, but 1620, the new colonists. Colonial ports are a godsend to uh, privateers who now have legal employ thanks to renewed warfare in Europe. Uh, oh my god, I can't think of that word. Uh, Hennessy's? Uh, I think. Barco, uh, Barcoos, I think it's how you pronounce that. I can't remember. Uh, been a while since I read that word actually. With oh my god, really? Particle, particle. Oh my god! Intent everywhere in the Caribbean. Spanish strength. In, uh, oh my god! I must say English. Spanish strength continues to wane, especially at sea. A well-outfitted force can even attempt to capture a treasure fleet on high seas. We'll probably do 1920 since it's 1920 and 1940 are like your like your best ones if you want to become a pirate because they're like the most bountiful 
Uh, you're gonna sign up with the nation. English, Dutch, Spanish, or French. Uh, we'll probably do English. English is one of the easiest ways to start the game with friendly ports and highly useful locations. And since England is almost always at war with Spain, you can easily usually gain quick English promotions by tagging Spanish professionals. Yes, yeah, so probably do English. Welcome aboard, Mr. Dante. We sailed. Yep, you can go dance with governors and go to different ports and be friends with everybody and things like that. Yeah, we go to Barbados. Uh, let's see. Let's open our map. Like actual map. Yeah. This is the entire map. I forgot how to zoom out. You can actually zoom out, though. Like, you got Margarita there. We're at Barbados. We got Trinidad. Uh, Kumana, uh, Caracas, uh, Porto Cabello, Curacao, Coro, oh my god, what's the word? Maracaibo? I think I said it Rio de la Hacha, Santa Marta, uh, Gibraltar, I think I said it that. Cartagena, uh, Cartagena, sorry, Portobello, oh my god, I'm not going to keep reading, these are Spanish ones, that's, uh, Curacao is Dutch, this is English, uh, yep, that's as far as that's going to go, we can talk to the governor, visit the tavern, trade with merchants, divide, to solve the ship right, we're talking to the governor real quick, uh, my, my dear Dante, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French. I am pleased to offer a letter of Marquis. That's how it was, Marquis. Which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies, so Spanish and French. And as this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the Spanish city of Trinidad, which lies a short distance to the south. Yes, he wants me to go attack Trinidad. In fact, a juicy Spanish coastal okay, Barku, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Barca, I don't fucking know how to pronounce that word, was seen this morning headed in that direction. Good day. It's Spanish, so okay, well, I'm gonna check the tavern real quick. They got some juicy information for us sometimes. Uh, yeah, so talk to employed sailors. Current crew of 40, 33 men for a crew of 40. Sure, come on in. Uh, talk to the barman. It's rumored that the El Dios Vivo, bound for Barbados, is carrying over a thousand in gold. I believe she's a Spanish uh, pinnacy, the barmaid. Okay, so she, it's heading from Trinidad to Barbados. It'll be a nice little thing. Uh, what do you want from yes. Evil villain Marquis de, uh, de la uh, Montauban, Montauban, I think. Man, French. Who wronged your family has built a mighty fortress deep in the jungle. Oh, thanks. Gee. Visit the governor of Santo uh, Domingo. Okay, that's my first quest. Basically, it is, what you, all you want to do is go through the whole thing, try to find your family. The bartender men, uh, motions you over. The town is bust, uh, busting at the seams. An Indian tank might run off some of the riffraff. Why do I care? All right, let's see. Well, who is that? Uh, this is Spanish Coastal. Who? No, not who I'm looking for. We have 73 people. Spanish smuggler will attack you. Uh, basically, what it is is uh, in the upper left-hand corner, it shows a sword and it's a like yellow, green, red. That's how much like food and stuff you have and how good people are. Like if you're busting at the seams. It's not good. Okay, we're gonna aim. I forget how to switch weapons. There you go. That's a great shot. Which is good for when you want to take out, like, uh, their sail, the wind and their sails and such. Oh, the wind is going away in my, not in my favor. He's trying to sail away. We're not gonna let him. 
You only really damage them if you want if you use like regular cannonballs. Boom! Oh, they lost some cargo. I don't want to lose any cargo. No! Don't make me Hmm. How do we want to do this? Is there sailing away? I can sail towards them, that's not the problem. The only way I'm gonna get anywhere near them is if I take out their sails with grape shot. Or bolos, technically, if you really want to get technical. I hit him. Let's get him. Oh, get freaking destroyed. Alright, we're coming back around. Still not, sails are still not, I mean, winds are still not my sails, but you know. It's whatever. If I can get around and you know, actually get them. Now you can aim. Do we have a. No. Oh, that is awesome. I can modify my sails? Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to Skull and Crossbones with the lion on it. Oh, he just, uh. The enemy strikes your colors. Oh, strikes your colors. A wolf and golden plunder are yours for taking. One of the Spanish crew is a skilled cook who can prepare tasty meals at sea. His crew is ready to join your crew. Nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, we plundered a thousand gold. She holds 22 cargo. She's got 73 in sail damage. Total crew needed 24. Crew available 73. Mmm. Total crew in the S12 without sinker. Just take everything. Take it all. That's how you do her. I gotta do donuts. Uh, that's... Yeah, I'll take you. Why not? We got seven food. You're like a Spanish galleon, aren't you? ripped her sails. You can hear the physical, like, sail rip, too. I want to see if I can get a, a battle. <sighs> yep, okay, looks like we're about to get a sword fight. Alright, looks like the ships collide with mighty crash as your crew rushes to attack. The enemy captain approaches with his sword drawn. Longsword, repair, or cutlass? Probably longsword. I totally forgot to play. Okay, that's stab. That's parry. Ouch. How do you defend? Okay, B's defend, X to slash. Okay, you can do different attacks depending on how you push the uh, left stick. And it goes back and forth. So the longer you battle, more likely you're going to lose people. What is she? Just, uh, oh, that's what she was, was a coastal. Okay. She's got a little bit of hull damage, a hull hole of 60. She's got a little bit of sail damage, but not too bad. Uh, we'll keep her, we'll keep her. We got two ships on her team. She's not as big as mine. Which means, what type of ship am I using? Oh, by the way, these are the uh, top 10 pirates. We are number 10. As you can see, Blackbeard is number two, which you can steal her ship, or his ship, technically. Domingo. Santo Domingo. There's Santiago. Santo Domingo, right there. I gotta sail upwards, which is not an uh, easy thing. Oh, okay, that's how you switch it. Okay, cool. Santa Laura. Treasures. Captain's Log. Uh, Holland at war with France. Pirate Hunter sails from Trinidad. Right quest. Right, I have to go visit the governor of San Domingo. That's right. We are Spanish. Bounty two thousand gold. My health is excellent. I got a letter of marquee. Okay. I have 
two. Oh, this one doesn't have any uh, guns, apparently. We get seven months worth of food. We have 10 luxuries, 20 goods, 17 spices, 15, a little bit over 1,500 gold. We're 18 years of age. We're very happy. All right, cool. We're doing good for ourselves so Ooh, Spanish pirate hunter. Uh, yeah. Wanna go, bitch? Let's go. You wanna fire on me? Oh god, great shooting. He's already hitting with the. He's already hitting with the. Get back. You got like 20 guns on like, versus me, dude. I ain't taking this sitting down. Okay. Oh I don't know what that was supposed to do. He's just circling me now. I'm, I'm just getting wrecked. Oh, that's supposed to just take out crew. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Keep spinning. Man, he is just out. Man, he made every turn. Come on, load those guns faster. Oh, there goes my sails. We're done. Where's my other person now? That's my problem. Oh, uh, we are dragon sails. Man. Problem is, they're like at that like angle that they can get me still. Come on, just come attack me, dude. There's a bunch of assholes. I will beat you with 21. I don't care. I just gotta take out your captain. Your crew's heavily on number match the patterns on the screen before the time runs out, and you can even the odds by knocking out enemy crew. Okay. Two, yes, please. It's a royal sloop. All damage represent sail damage. Uh, yeah, keep her indefinitely. We need to. Where's Barbados? There's Santa. Uh, Bendica. Trinidad's down here. Well, I need to head up. Because we got a problem. Yeah, if you want to know like what's going on in the world, like English no longer at war with Spain, so I don't need to fight Spanish ships anymore. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm still wanted by the Spanish. Bounty of three thousand gold, yeah. So if someone brings me in, I can go to jail for three thousand gold. Awesome. Just the greatest thing in the world, guys. Where am I on the map? Oh, Barbados is like the other way. Okay, so. I guess we sail for Santa Domingo. Probably not gonna happen. Actually, where's the what's the closest city? Uh, probably uh, Curacoa is probably where we want to go for now, and see how the winds change on us. I don't want to fight. What are they? Ooh, they're a Spanish trade galleon, so it's not bad to fight them. I totally forgot to switch ships. Forgot how you take control of what ship. Oh yeah, make your flagship. Okay, so I control this as my flag. If efficient crew. 
Okay, well, I can sell a ship, but that's not the big deal. Try to just get to another city as fast as possible. Okay, the problem isn't like, the crew. Or, well, it's mostly the sails. Ooh, fish. Alright, guys, go fish. We got pirate raiders. It's a private super revenge rod. Ugh. Invasion force. They're going. They're going to. Okay, they're going to a Spanish city. If they were going to like a English city, I would have totally attacked them. Uh, visit the shipwright. Uh, that's my royal sloop. I want to keep. I want to. Let's see. What do I, I want? I want the revenge boots. It's a brigantine, which is nice. Sell you for two hundred eighty gold. Repair. And repair. Alright. What's your cargo? Yeah, a lot of luxuries, a lot of good stuff like that. Oh, it's for both. Okay. We can. Oh, this already has copper plate, and it costs 700 copper plate U? Yeah, sure. Alright. Now we got copper plane for both. Actually, what I could do is I probably get the brigantine. How much more cannons? That's what I'm wondering. But whatever. Freaking this cost a eleven. Yeah, I'll sell all of that. It cost me eleven. It's selling me. Well, I had ten. But let's see it. Yeah, eleven. Okay. Take it off. Spice, sugar, goods. Sell the goods. Keep food. Oops, no, I want that. We want to keep a high stock of food. So probably like keep like 60 food. Bring like 20 of that. And bring our sugar on board. That'll be fine. Because what it does is that helps with food and, you know, everything like that. Uh, it's always good to go here, so let's go to our point soldier. 37 out of our crew of 48, yes. It'll help me keep uh, people in the group. Uh, it's rumored that the Spanish treasure fleet is headed for Car uh, Carta uh, Cartagena with a fortune and gold bullion. Ooh, nice. The shipwright in St. Uh, Martin can upgrade your ship with bronze cannon if you like. Can't fight more accurately. That's actually nice to know. Reserves have offers to share with you information on his recent ship. Uh, recent ship visit to Grand Bahama. Sure, tell me more. Uh, Grand Bahama. Yeah, Bahama. Merchant prices: food three, luxuries twelve, goods like uh, goods and spices and sugar. Yeah. Luxuries the most. So it's not, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't it was, it's all good information? No. All right, we're sailing. Indian war canoe. Invasion for your Spanish galleon. Oh, it's always nice to have like a Spanish galleon though. It's never another Spanish trade galleon. I don't want to fight the Spanish though. That's the problem. I have to go to a Spanish city. So let's see where we're we heading. We're heading north, straight for Saint, uh, Santa Domingo. So. We have 14 months worth of food, so a little bit more. We have enough food for a little bit over a year. Another Spanish trade galleon. Okay, that's what I thought. Probably gonna get rusted, honestly. So I'm working with the freaking English. Uh, yeah, the moment I go and talk to that guy, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get freaking arrested. Uh, 37 my fast coming on in. Uh, what do you want? Sell your ruby ring. This will help with the heart of the governor's daughter and can be yours for only 1500 gold? Get the hell out of here with that shit, dude. Is, uh, that the Aphrodite bound for San Domingo is carrying out over a thousand in gold. I believe she's a French merchant, merchantman, the barmaid whispers. So it's, she's cruising from, uh, Tortuga to San Domingo. What do you got for me? Oh, he's got, uh, same thing as St. Martin, bronze gold, bronze cans. Okay. My dear Mr. Dante, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the greedy Dutch. 
I am troubled to hear that recently you captured a Spanish royal sloop and you captured a Spanish postal bark. Uh, Alright. Such offenses would not go unpunished. Good. Okay, later. Such such insolence would not go unpunished. Okay. Where are you? I don't care. Where are you? Nope. Nope. Where are you? You're French. Ooh, you're the French merchantman. I'm gonna take you out. Oh, I will say, look at that. Look at that freaking maneuvering. You're a big ass ship, though. You probably fetch a hefty price for me on a big ass English ship. I'm gonna ship your French. You were a bigger ship than I was, not you, uh. Hmm. This doesn't calculate, my friends. Alright, fine, I'll take your gold. A thousand gold? You, oh, I'm shooting a whole thousand. I mean, a, not a thousand, but a hundred in hull? Woo! You might just be like one of those things you want just to take. Sure, I'll take her. Why the hell not? I'll sell her ass. Mm. So crew 122, Spanish tree galleon, nah. We good. Where's the nearest English city, by the way? Is it literally known as St. Martin? Is in, uh, it's Dutch. Oh, that's uh, right there. In Grand Bahama. Barbados. Probably actually, honestly, like the... There's Veracruz. Uh, probably Barbados, probably the s closest, honestly. What am I with San? I mean, not San. Well, I almost said San. They still want my ass for three thousand gold. France is at war with Spain, so they probably won't care me destroying a French ship or two or four. Unless I have to literally go to another French city, then they will care. A Dutch smuggler. And they got Dutch rudders, and that's not in a good way. There is no good way. There never is a good way. So visit the tavern. Got some more people. What do you got for me? Uh, okay, what do you got for me now? Speak with a barmaid in Krakoa. Uh, Alright, cool. Talk to the governor. Who's going to meet me? There were with the slimy French and the greedy Dutch. I am trouble to hear that you recently captured such offensive not going punished. Okay. So the ship right. Uh triple hammocks. Self reform forty eight. Yeah, sure, why the hell not? Give me some of that tasty gold. Do we mean We do not trade with English heretics. Go fuck yourself then. So do, are you are you a pirate ship? Dude, get out of here. You're going down, you pirate scout. Oh, wait, I'm pirates. I am a pirate. And we crash right in the middle. Right in the freaking... Mm. Love it. We are going to go with some uh, cutlasses here. Do quick time events. No. Ooh, you went with cutlass too. I got a 114 when it comes to. No, I got one, 103 when it comes to crew members. Oh, he's about to push me down the stairs. Ugh. Oh, let's see what happens. Throw my sword. Lily. Boom! Later. One of us is a skilled cooper. We reserve food in sturdy barrels. He is pretty nice. I like that. 3,500? Mmm. Yeah. 
the sordid career of the sixth most notorious pirate, uh, that guy, has come to an end. Because I'm just that diva. So now what it is, is your rank goes up. The more pirates you defeat, the more your rank goes up. So, like, it tells you how many ships you've had total, or I think it's how many ships you defeated, and things like that. There's different, like, little cool things like that. Like, uh, oops, I don't want to do that. I want to go back to my map. Where are we at? We have to go to Kurakoa, which is over here. It's a Dutch city. That probably what I would do is I'll probably sail, sail back to Barbados. Actually, let's check my flagships. So I'm running, I'm driving a royal sloop known as the Medea. I just got the blood debt, which has 16 cans also. I need, this one has a, they have like a, I can hold over 125 people easily. Specialist, I got cooking a uh, cooper. You can get like a cook, cooper, like uh, a musician, things like that. Ooh, I think you have bronze cannons too. If I can just get like grape shine and shit on you, you'd be perfect. Like triple hammocks. But the Brigantine, the Revenge is kind of a. Not really. You're a Spanish trade galleon. Honestly, I don't need anything to do with the Spanish on my face anymore. Not this moment of time. I can't even get into their city. I can't even trade with them. Like, there's points where they're like, if you go, like, say you work for the English, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, ooh, wow, that's a big ass Spanish trade galleon. I wonder how much money they're holding. Whew. There's a Dutch. There's a freaking, you know, Dutchman that's ready to get eviscerated. Well, there's times where it's like, oh, you know, I want you to take over, you know, Tortuga. So you want, you gotta go and fight them, and it's like, oh, this is awesome. So it's, uh, visit the tavern, get some more men. Uh, 25 men of 110, yes. Talk to the barmaid. <laughs> uh, pardon my insolence, uh, I'll teach you some manners, knave. Pull your sword on moi. Mm. Sorry, but I can't let that go. We'll do it up here. Mm. Mwah. Ow. I can easily beat people with it. Oh, look at that roundhouse. That was a sick roundhouse. Get up. Like, and like, what's funny is, like, the older you get, the more likely you are not to, like, to win sword fights. And she hits him with a bottle. Bam! Done. No, I don't want to sleep with you. How many people you probably slept with? My, but you're a bold one. That quick sword of yours will come in handy around these birds. Looks like more men are looking to join your crew. Now what do we have to do? Oh, let's see. Yep, you give me another quest. Discover buried pirate treasure. Oh, okay. So, uh, go fuck yourselves. Oh, for 300? Yeah, I'll take that. Never mind. Oh, awesome. Uh, looks like Lost Harbor is nearby. Oh, dude, I just seen something about Santo Domingo, uh, by the way. Yeah, I'll take that one out. What do you got for me? Ministers, niggers, they say she's a real beauty. Uh, the barman, as you I tremble with apprehension, Dante has said that you're now the most notorious part of the Antigua Spanish Main. Tire Sp English. Oh my god. Tire Spanish Main. Speak. Can't, apparently. English is not my fucking forte. Okay, they all have copper plating. I got zero luxuries, but I have a shit ton of food and spice. Uh, I can sell you for 600. I don't know what happens to the crew, honestly. Let's repair you as I want you. But I'm half tempted to sell you. Yeah. Oh, I think I know what happens, okay. Uh, let's talk to the governor, see what you have. I haven't tagged any Dutch people yet. 
Do you don't think please come in? You're interested in that we are at war with the evil, evil Spanish and slimy French. I understand that you are to defeat the North Notorious Pirate, uh... Olnaz? I don't know. And you captured a pirate brigantine. Excellent. The king will be pleased. The rank is your service to the Dutch crown. I am pleased to promote you to the rank of captain. Congratulations. As a result, crew recruiting is will be easier in Dutch ports. Your most attractive daughter enters the room. My, Miss Dear Dante. You are quite a handsome young ruffian. Perhaps when you have achieved the rank of colonel, you may ask her, you could ask her into the grand ball. Ugh. All right. Colonel, it is. So. Uh, I believe you can also cheat you are at some point. You could be a pirate. Uh, I know you can check what you are. Hmm. Oh, I'm a captain. Okay. It tells you actually what you are. Okay. Uh, looks like something about Santo Domingo, Jellyfish Landing. Lost Harbor. Santo Domingo. So it's around Santo Domingo. Yeah, I need to go to understand. I'm going to sail to our Barbados again and see if he has anything for me there. Hopefully. That's the plan. I know for a fact, like, once I run into, like, Blackbeard, I'm going to fight Blackbeard because of the simple fact that I want the Queen Anne's Revenge. It has, like, 40 cannons on both sides. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. But you, like, you won't run into him until, like, you know, until you get higher on the list. You really won't. Alright, I still have a long ways to go to get to Barbados. Like, these, like, Santa Nina and Santa Benedicta, those are pirate havens. They're not bad to actually go and talk to the people. Damn Dutch. I'm just kidding. Oh, we're hitting the doldrums, guys. Actually, I think it's the best is to actually put your, like... Oh! Uh, oh, I remember this is a, uh... Jesse thing. Trade with him. What do you got for us? You got some food, so I'm gonna, st I'm gonna take your food, and I'm now all out of space. This is, oh, this is, this is all what's in my... Wow. I guess... Geez, we were all out of sugar, dude. I believe you have a sister who has been missing from years. You span near Baron Raimondo. Has information which reveal at the moment he. Is Dude, I'm right near Kumana. Back it up. What did you say his name was Raimondo? I don't care what his name was actually. I'm gonna give him a piece of my cutlass. That's what I'm gonna give him. New warship. It's a Spanish fast galley. I don't care about the Spanish at this exact moment. All right, where are you, Raymondo, Raymundo, Ray, whatever your freaking face is? When in the lab. Uh, sails in the Spanish war against San Pablo. Last seen Kumana sails the war galleon San Pablo. Okay, cool. But he set sail 19 days ago and sail us uh, in the direction of Rio de la Hacha. Awesome. Yeah, come on. Improve your dancing skills and be yours for 1500. Yeah! I got the cash! You didn't give me money? Shit, you're not gonna give me any money. Fine grain powder. 500 each? 700, sorry. 500 and 700, it's gonna cost me to freaking repair everything apparently. Jeez. I don't know why I'm holding the blood debt. Because it's another ship and it's amazing. That's why. Alright. What was this uh, warship over here? Nope. Sandra something. Sandra something. 
Ooh. Hold up. Crew, where's my crew at? Something's wrong with one of my crews. Morale is super unhappy. I wonder why. I actually have no idea why. Hmm. Uh, Spanish War Galleon. No, not what I'm looking for. He said he, uh, set sail for... Rio de la Hacha. Ship bearing the military payroll has arrived in Kirkeas. I don't care. Yeah, but if you, like, and if you don't get the, ooh, pirates attack the sea of, okay, that's cool. You're a Spanish war galleon, or galleon at the best. Ooh, you're a Spanish treasure ship, honestly. Yeah, cause I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack you. He has so many cannons, dude. But if I can get to him. Oh, I'm gonna take so much damage here. Get dealt with. Oh, if I can get to him. If I can get to him. Yes! Free fire! Oh, I just took all the damage in the freaking world. If I can just. You know. Yes, I know I'm heavily outnumbered. throw him off the ship because I'm Superman somehow, apparently. Best thing to do is like when they draw back is to uh, like sweep them. Not sweep them, but like stab. You can't sweep. The uh, Spanish trade galleon or treasure galleon. She's got definite, you know, nothing I need. So I'm definitely gonna sink her. And, you know, oh, I can only take 10 freaking things. A curl hole of 140. Man, that's not gonna give me money. Let's go with 90 food, grab something. Oh, whatever, yeah, sure, I guess. Can't take any goods. There's 64 tons of cargo. Fine, I'll take her, I guess. Just a trade guy. How many cannons do you have? Because I might just use you. 34 cannons. Yeah! Why wouldn't I? You're an invasion force of who? I'm here. I want to hear an invasion force for. French frigate. Sure, why the hell not? Ugh, it just took some damage. But I got 40 can- I don't know, I got 36 cannons. I'm like, the Queen Anne's Revenge is like 10 times better. They seriously just like, try to take me over. It's gonna be a bad day in hell for most people. You gotta like them all the time in the world. Like, honestly. It, it's kind of a sad indication. Wow, that toothy, freaking shit eating grin. Off the ship. You got no gold? You're a frigate. Why? I'm gonna take all your shit. I'm gonna sink you. Because I don't care anything about you. Honestly, now I'm like tempted. Like, what? how much crew can this dude hold? 200? I'm tempted to just get rid of these two dudes. 
and just keep that and keep this beast of a ship. 90% of this game is honestly just, you know, yeah, take all that. Oh, I'm buying. I'll just sell all this. Sell it all. Apparently, I don't need spice. Or sugar. So. Call assault with the ship, right? Yeah, so upgrade to cock plating. Sorry, I'm going to sell you. And I'm going to sell this royal sloop. Because this treasure galleon has 36 dang freaking cannons, guys. 36 cannons. Uh, Ruby ring for 1650? Sure, why not? What do you got for me? Baron Romano ship has been upgraded with copper plating. Cool. Good for Baron Romano. Mando, whatever. Just he hold up and. Uh, okay, deal a hacha. Uh, we are at war with the Simon French. I hear he's sending us something to the French Bayesian ship. Excellent, the team will be pleased. We've been promoted to major. And for ship repairs, we have. And I am grant me I got granted an estate of 200 acres. Uh, just growing an agreement to the red ball. Okay, cool. Check status. Got the ring. I got calfskin boots. Moral is content. Morale is content. Sorry. Let's uh let's grab. Some, uh, I can't grab our foot. Never mind. I'll grab 40. Is the okay. San Pablo is what I want. Supposedly held up in Rio de la Hacha, uh, which is coming up. It's a Spanish place, though, so it's not exactly like I am welcomed. Oh, why is what is with morale, dude? Why? Why is morale suckish? Well, we probably want to like maybe like. Found him. I'm try escaping on my ass. I got one for the team now. He's just trying to take out my sail so I can't escape. Specials can only be found by capturing enemy ships. You have long search since silver, so even or we're just behind bullet dice. You found me at last, Mr. Dante, but you would regret crossing swords with me on guard. Upwards, I have 62 people. He gave up. You are a master servant, sir. I reveal the truth that you see your sisters held captive in remote location. This map should help you in your quest to restore your family. It's only part of a map, of course. Hangman's Landing. City of Santiago. So it's near the city of Santiago. Uh, your courage is 24 people? Yeah, sure, why not? 3,000 gold, and he's got like all the upgrades needed. Sure. I'll take a freaking war galleon. Uh, what? So he has 28 cannons versus my 34, but he's got like every known upgrade. I'll probably just keep the treasure galleon as a, uh, just for cargo, honestly. I do need to get to a English city, though. Hey man's landing. It's supposed to be by San, uh, Santo de Mar, uh, Santo Domingo, right? At least it's yeah, City of Santo Domingo, right up there. Hmm, interesting. Pirate Raiders. This is Pirate Suit Charles. Don't think there's any pirates in the area. Oh no, eight. I'm the eighth most notorious pirate. Cool. Uh. Ah, okay. 
it just tells his life story, I guess. Good for him. Cullis Creek. We are content. Morale is amazing. We just it's because we just took out people. Basically, what it is you want to keep up morale and everything? Are you can get me? Uh, we have for months. We have food for years. Uh, I'm still 18. Yeah. Let's go up medicine. Uh, so, let's see. Where are we heading? Uh, I want to head back to Barbados before the end of the episode. I've been playing for almost an hour. This game takes forever. I don't know how long we're going to play this game for, though. So, we'll see. We'll definitely see how long I play this game for. I need to put my fucking laptop back in. I forgot. Where's the plug at? Where did it go? Seriously, this is ridiculous. Where did it go? So I really take my phone a time for it. Let's cut that off. Alright, I'll. I'll, I'll I thought I was gonna freaking sail right into a freaking ship or something. People are freaking just going hardcore. Sorry, it's gonna take a little bit to get to this city. And of course, morale sucks. Santa Nina. Come on. We're literally almost to Barbados. <clears throat> I'm not gonna visit the governor. Oh, you pain in the ass. We're right there. A few more. Well, possible. Oh, okay. <clears throat> people, you're starting to annoy the hell out of me. This is the tavern. Oh, yeah. Here's your secret map for 150? Sure. Oh, okay. Lost Harbor, Blade Bay, Joint for Swanee, Thunder Coast. Okay. I okay. Yes, I want to know. Uh, Jean Latif of oh, Feet. Fourth most to work here. Sails out of the Pirate Haven. Vida de Tresor near the city of St. Martin. He is known to carry over 5,100 gold doubloons. At least. Shoot down no. Eight men? Sorry, lads, we're full. Get out of here. There's only eight people here. My dear Mr. Dante, please come in. As you know, we are at war with the Sunny French. I understand that you have to. Uh, can you be pleased? My captain. 300 acres. The governor's attracted daughter. Enters the room. Great handsome. Perhaps when you're just colonel. Okay. Alright, guys. Though that is the end here, is I don't I don't know what freaking Jean freaking decides to sail in. I am saving the game right now. We will end the episode. And I'll see you guys next episode. I'm Necroline. This is Sinmai's Pirates, and I will see you guys in the next episode.